What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcast. So today in the world of indie games, we're checking out a little spacefaring sci-fi outrunning type game called XO. If you've never seen this game before, this is a game where you take control of a massive battleship that has been completely de-armed. You are in a hostile corner of space and your goal is to make it to the end of the game where the human packed fleet is essentially rallying to fight back an unknown alien invasion. So the goal of the game is to get from point A to point B and then at point B we will fight a massive battle for the safety of the galaxy. Along the way there's going to be a bunch of different factions that we're going to interact with. We're going to be able to salvage ships. We're going to be able to find weapons. We're going to be able to advance ourselves and increase the size of our fleet. But this is a very rapid fire game. This is a game that comes at you really really quickly So there's gonna be a lot of pausing and talking about things while I'm playing it because time is of the essence Do not waste time in this game while you're playing it is the only resource that really matters weapons are cool Ships are awesome, but being like seven to ten days ahead of the game's internal schedule is way 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 better So I know the basics. I don't need your advice. Uh, we'll go ahead and stop off right here I have paused the game Never seen XO before. The first thing that's going to hit you, it's got pretty striking visuals. That's why I gave it kind of an outrun type deal to it. It uses a lot of kind of 1980s sci-fi. In all honesty, what this game really reminds me of is if you've ever read uh, Orson Scott Card's Ender's Game. It reminds me of the way that an Ender's Game... It reminds me of the way the characters describe the simulation that they use to plan out their battles with the aliens, essentially. And so anyways... It's a very, very stark, very, very striking game. It's very good looking, actually. The entire game shares this aesthetic. So you might be asking yourself, here we are. We're next to Thiar, which is like this random station that just has two lasers on it. We've got the Excalibur, which is apparently our battleship. What are we supposed to do now? Well, what you're supposed to do now is we're going to take a look at the star map. You can play this game however you want. It's your call. Play it in whatever way you find satisfying. But just be aware that you have a massive globe that you can move around on inside of space. Our goal is to go from this blue spot right here to this yellow spot. The game ends when we get to this yellow spot. We can take any path to get there that we want, any sequence of events to get there that we want, but just be aware that while we're trying to maneuver our way through space, the galaxy is being conquered and it's being taken over. If you look around where we are right now, all of these planets right here that have a little bit of purple on them, that means that the Revenants or the Reclaimers or something like that, I forget what the alien race's name is, but there's a number of factions in the game that are all variants of humanity. Humanity has conquered the stars in this game, and these new aliens are showing up, and they're just annihilating everything. They don't seem interested in money. They don't seem interested in planets. They just seem interested in hunting us and killing us to the last man. And so really, the entire game is you trying to outrun the aliens while at the same time trying to cobble together some kind of unit that you can use to fight back at the end of the game. For right now, we don't really have a ton of options. I would say that we should probably go... We've got corporate space over here. We should probably go corporate space right here, and we can do that by clicking on it, and then we can plot a course, and then we can jump once the game's unpaused. There we go. So we'll jump on over there. If we were on the tactical map, it would give us a little bit of a display right there. It took us a day to do the warp. All right, well, here we are. Corporate ship detected, sir. A ship like that was supposed to have delivered our weapons, but they jumped away at the last moment. Okay. Do you want to hear about Yeah, let's do it. Galacticon never misses a delivery. So our scheduled weapon delivery was canceled? I never heard of a corporate ship abandoning profit. What's that all about? Yes, sir. I don't get it either. It was guaranteed profit for them, but now they'll be slammed with penalties. Did they say anything before they jumped? No, sir. Did anything unusual happen at the time? Well, I'll check the logs. It looks like they jumped right after another corp ship showed up. Yeah, they jumped away together. Any word from them since? No, sir. I don't get it. What could be more important to a corp than profit? All right, so with this guy right here, we have one ship inside this system with us. And what we can do is we can right-click on him. Let's hail him and see what we can do. So we're going to open up a hailing frequency real fast. The Galacticon director in charge sees harried. You feel yourself being coldly appraised for value and left wanting. Yes, how can you bring me profit today? I need information and I'm willing to make it worth your while. Actually, do you have anything unusual to share? Not as far as you know, but I thank you for the heads up. And they cut off comms with a act of finality. We don't have any weapons right now, so we can't like attack them and attempt to reclaim that which is ours or anything like that. So instead, we gotta wait for our fuel gauge to fill up at least to the white line before we can jump again. We'll wanna do that about as soon as possible because the 
the bad guys are going to show up really, really, really soon. And there's nothing else to do in this system anyways. So I'm going to jump over to Perdita. The jump has been planned. And there it is. Let's go for it. We are now in Perdita. Every single time we jump, a day will go past. So be aware of that as well. The universe is advancing without you. There's some problem with the mail drone network. Uncountable numbers of these things constantly jump from star to star, spreading info at the speed of a jump. But the drones are becoming less and less frequently. The system was supposed to be foolproof. How am I going to get my orders if the network shuts down? Okay, so we've got another corporate ship right here. We can hail them and see what's going on. The Galacticon cargo hauler gleefully returns your call. Ah, steamed packed captain. How glad I am that we have crossed paths. You are no doubt interested in purchasing some of the precious cargo I carry on board? Sure, why not? Good, good, good. I just so happen to have a shipment of artisanal elbow deodorant picked by hand from the relatively untainted prairies of Snarn, guaranteed to cover up any nasty odors produced by an overworked elbow. My elbows don't produce odors. I see you are already acquainted with the product. Excellent. I'll apply a serial user discount. Your price will be... Wait a minute, that's... That's funny, I can't reach your reputation system. How am I supposed to make a profit now? I was about to tell you that... Sure, sure, look. How are you going to be able to pay me? Mm. I don't know. Or? Well, why didn't you say so? Oh, nice. They have all kinds of good stuff in here. So they got a couple laser cannons. They got a mining laser. All right. Probably go with a mining laser and just slap that onto my ship so at least we have some kind of defense. Or is your currency in this game? We had two out of eight. We had eight out of eight, but not anymore. It's not really a whole lot we can do from this point forward. So now that we've traded with him, I'm sorry if I'm moving really, really quickly, but this is a game that you have to move really, really quickly in. If you don't move quickly in this game, you are going to get pooed on, I promise. I would like to make it back to packed space if we can. These three over here are Irenic, which means we have a pretty good chance of picking up an Irenic ship if we can play our cards right. Everything in this game kind of comes down to luck a lot of the time, and really the sequence of events that you get. So every single system will have like an abandoned ship, or like a lifeboat that's full of crew, or a weapon, or a hostile contact. And depending on what you get in the early game, you can definitely tell that there's like a trajectory to the average pl like play in this game. And there's certain things you just have to have in order to win. And so anyways, we need to go to Irenic space, I guess. We'll go ahead and plot that out. There we go. We have the fuel to jump, so let's do it. Anytime we have the fuel to jump, I'm going to try and get it taken care of. First order of business, though, is really to get our ship armed up. We are a battleship, but really only in word, not in deed, because we were a battleship with no weapons. At least now we have one mining laser. Receive this today. Looks like piracy might be the way up as we thought. On the way up as we thought, we've been receiving an unusually large number of missing ship reports. Hail all ships encountered and maintain higher than ordinary levels of alerts. It's unusual. A solo Irenic ship, sir. Not the first I've seen lately either. All right. Well, anything we can learn about them would be worthwhile. So you've seen more solo Irenic ships. They usually keep to their own space and travel in large groups. Why do you think they're showing up now? Before you can come aboard, there was a steady stream of them. They all seemed in a hurry. Maybe they're late for their big festival of peace or something. Let's go see what these guys are doing here. We'll go ahead and hail them real fast. The Arenic Peace Liner replies to your hail with concern in their voice while at the same time sounding annoyed to be interrupted. Well, well, well. Is something wrong? We're about to initiate a jump. We're, we're, we've heard reports of missing ships. Do you know anything about that? Not really. Wait. Why do you ask? You mean you haven't heard any reports of late or missing ships? No, not really. I mean, yes, there are some ships that are a little late, but that's to be expected from time to time. I think not. There's a pattern here. Something is happening, but I don't have enough information to go on. Well, that could mean we are in danger. Look, we're headed to Nihal to meet up with our convoy. Could you escort us there? Sure. Certainly. Perhaps we can learn something where you're going. Well, I doubt it. I think any Galacticon ship or trading outpost would be more well-informed than us about such matters. Stand by to jump. I just need to plot a course. All right, give us a second. So we picked up this extra ship. It's now in our fleet. You can see that our cargo capacity's gone up, so that's good. we got to take these guys to Nahal. We now have enough energy to do that. So where is Nahal at? Nahal's over here. Oh, that's the wrong direction. That's not where I'm trying to go. Oh, well, maybe we'll get some kind of reward. 
let's go for it. Maybe they'll give us ore, or maybe we'll get something nice for it. We do have a timer on this mission, too, and the timers in this game are really, really tight, so make sure you're trying to adhere to them the best that you can. That's odd. Our convoy isn't here. wonder what could have happened. We'll try to catch up with them, and please, accept some ore as a token of your well-earned honesty and assistance. Nice. They left the fleet. We got one ore, and we've gained three water, and relations with the Arenic have slightly improved. Very nice. I picked up an Empire light boat, sir. It isn't like them to leave anybody behind. Indeed, somehow the Empire marked these people absent instead of abandoned. Falls to us to rescue them, regardless of how we feel about their beliefs. Okay, we'll pull us on in. Let's go get the rescue. There's the lifeboat right there, in case you didn't see it. It's drifting in orbit around the gravity well right now, so we might as well... Yeah, drift on in. Drifto! There you go. Get that thing on in there. Uh, we can pick up this crew. You might be asking yourself, why would you pick up crew from different space races? Because if we find one of their ships and it's a derelict, the only people that can pilot it are people from the same race. And so if we find an Imperial ship, only Imperial passengers or Imperial crews are going to be able to do anything with that ship. These guys right here, I'm pretty sure we just have to take them to a space station. It would say crew if they were able to be used as a resource, so I think we should be all right. A few hundred somewhat dazed Empire citizens file aboard. Most of them are trying hard to carry themselves with dignity, but they've clearly been through something traumatic. You better get these Empire crew members off your ship before they recover from their shock and start causing trouble aboard. You could dump them on a station if you didn't mind the blowback. You wonder if you're crazy enough to claim salvage on an Empire ship and compel these people to follow your orders aboard it. Or desperate enough. Oh, so we can use them as a crew. Okay. Well, we can use them as a crew, but maybe there will be morale penalties or something like that? I don't really know. Either way, it's time for us to get back out into space. Let's go plain ugly. There's another Imperial system right here. We might find a derelict ship. I suggest that we do it. We're ahead of the corruption curve right now. Like, we're not being chased nonstop by the aliens. And so anytime that that's the case, you're in good shape. New contact, sir. Reading one. Nope. Two Empire executioners. Both heavily damaged, sir. Damaged? Maybe we are at war with the Empire. All right, well, let's bring her around. We got a long flight, though, to get over here, which is a little bit disappointing. I do wish the camera was a little bit more free. I don't know why Q and E don't allow me to rotate the camera in this game, but there are some really weird little things that happen with this game's controls. Let's go ahead and see if we can swing on over there. Oh, they're being attacked by the aliens. Never mind. Okay, we don't want to be over there. This was a mistake. Sir, I've done a more thorough scan, and damage is consistent with laser fire. Missile damage, maybe, but... Wait a minute. More contact. Several ships... Uh, that's odd. What are harvesters? What do you mean? Our tactical system has identified the new contacts as harvesters. Harvesters? It's new to me. Maybe it's some new branch of the Empire? Maybe. What else do we know? Not much. I've never seen ships like this. They're larger than our battleship, that's for sure, but... Wait, tactical has them tagged purple, sir. Purple? Are you certain of that? That would mean we're at war with these harvesters. That's what Tactical says, sir. I triple-checked it. Well, if Tactical says we're at war, we better take it seriously. Second edition one, battle stations. Battle stations, aye, sir. So those harvesters are launching quite a number of small craft. They're vectoring towards the Empire executioners and us. What kind of craft? Scans are inconclusive, too small to carry weapons that could harm us, and too slow for missiles. Tactical has tagged the craft as a Reaper class? It's ominous. Perhaps they carry boarding parties. Stay on top of the situation. I'd better plot us a course out of here just in case. Yes, sir. Good idea, sir. Okay. Yeah, they're here now. So it's time for us to go. Don't mess with the don't mess with the harvesters. This is serious advice that I'm giving you about this game. Don't mess with them. It's a mistake. Sir, we can get a better view of these enemy ships using the camera controls. No, I don't need the camera controls. I'm good to know. Yep, 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 yep. Camera controls are overrated. Uh, we got something going on over here. Who are you? The Empire X. What is it? An abandoned supply ship? Yeah, let's go. Let's loot it. I think we can steal from that thing. Well, maybe not. It's actually active right now. It's going to take us a while to clear that. Let's hope those things don't follow us. Scanner, keep me posted. All clear so far, sir. It's going to take us a minute to get over there. New contact, sir. Harvester carrier. Damn it. Still, we have a little time before they get to us. This ship could take a lot of damage if it has to, so we'd better not stay too long or we'll get overwhelmed. 
All right, well, we've got a harvester over there. I'm hoping I can close this gap. Of course, this idiot's just flying straight towards him. Luckily enough, he's going in the opposite direction, so we might be okay to make contact over here. Oh, there goes his little fighter drones. Hail? It's abandoned, but hey, hail it again. Maybe the computer will respond. All right. Can I crew it? Pull in, pull in, pull in. Hurry. All right. They've now been converted into Empire crew, and we now officially have two ships as part of our fleet. A little while after the refugees clamber aboard their new ship, they signal all system ships red or ship systems ready. It looks like for now they're content to continue following orders. Good. Well, I give the order to run like hell. Let's get out of here. Yup. It's time for us to go. Now is not the time to be playing around with our lives. They are closing in on radar right now. We need to bounce. Like Zap and Roger said, how much bounce to the ounce? More bounce to the ounce. Who is this over here? We've got the Batty Abbott. Let's go hail him. Let's see what they got going on. See if there's any way that we can help him out or if we can get any kind of bonus out of this situation. The captain of the Batty Abbott sad eyes look at you black with exhaustion. We cold. We tired. We hungry. We want to go home. Alright. The view shifts to what meets me the interior of the rover ship, a hallway looking into the cargo bay, overcrowded with desperate looking rovers. Hundreds of them. Slowly they turn their heads to face you with pleasing eyes. Alright, well we can protect you. The captain leaves the live cargo hold feet on as you explain your offer of help. You finish with, these are my orders. We will protect you and ensure you have food and water. Oh, they joined my fleet? Nice. You see the refugees' undisguised relief as they chatter, clap hands, and hug one another. You hold these images in your mind, and they steal you for the challenges ahead. Neither of these ships are really good, though. These are both like tramp freighters, I think. Yeah, these are tramp freighters. These are not entirely super useful. But we did get a bunch of free ore out of this situation, so anyways. Let me make a formation real fast, because these guys are floating all over the place and it makes me feel nervous. We'll go ahead and put them in like so. Yep, that's fine. So these guys have no equipment slots whatsoever. Oof. Yeah, I kind of feel like I should decrew one of these and just abandon it. And the reclaimers are here. Loverly. Absolutely loverly. Let's get out of here. I actually don't know how I scuttle a ship and get it out of the fleet. I haven't quite figured that out yet. It's one of those things that, like... Haven't quite figured out that little dot and tittle yet. Basically, I wanted less ships in the fleet because we have to feed all these people. You see that right there? We now have to deal with food and water because we have too many people in our stuff. And so anyways. I guess we'll crew them. If nothing else, we'll kind of use up. Oh, they're jumping in again. Okay. Well, we've got Imperial over there, we've got Rover up there, we've got Granitoid, we've got Irenic. I was kind of looking for... Let's go this way. This way doesn't have any Harvesters in it, so I think it might be our wisest choice, especially since they're coming to kill us right now. You can see them making a beeline for us on the radar down here, and we do not have the muscle to fight them just yet. What do we have going on here? We've got the Eclipse. What is the Eclipse? The Eclipse is a corporate cargo hauler. Maybe we'll be able to buy something? Let's go talk to him. If I could buy a few more weapons, that'd be great. These guys don't even have equipment slots, which is deeply upsetting. Really, really, really wish that they did, but... The Cargo Corp Freighter replies to your hail. I'm in trouble. Deep trouble. Yeah, well, we all are. No, it's worse than that. My shipment is late, so the worst is behind you. No, 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 no. I'm about to be double late, and if that happens, I'm ruined. Ruined, I tell you. So listen, escort me to Ulox and I'll pay you four ore. Alright. Alright, we can't have you double late. We'll take you there, but you'll have to follow us until we say otherwise. By all the discounts, thank you. Sir, I feel I should remind you about the water situation. I already know about the water situation. So basically, this is a limit on how many ships we can have inside of our fleet. We lose one water and food per day 
per thing, but we generate it by ourselves. We have like our ship is so large that we have fungus farms on it, and we can provide food for up to six ships. But if it gets lower than that, people are going to start to starve, and the game's going to start to get ugly. They wanted to go to Ulock. All right, let's go. Where's Ulock's right there? All right, plot a course. We will jump to Ulox. I don't need any of these ships. These ships are kind of useless to me right now. What I need are battleships is what I really, really need. I do wish with the UI, there's a few things missing. Like, I really wish that you could kind of, like, the little holler transfers four ore to you and joins the fleet. Okay, well, there you go. What do we have going on over here? What are you? The Ares? The Ares is an Empire supply ship. Okay. Go ahead and hail them. You head over that way. And hail them. Looks like he's breaking up, so he might need help. Breaking up is hard to do. Uh, the little Empire supply ship replies back. Hey, we've got nothing but people on board, so if you're looking for a fat target to rob, you're too late. What little we had saved over the years was stolen by the last Empire warship we came across a few days ago. An emergency war tax, they called it. They cleaned us out. We tolerated years of high taxes to build the strongest war fleet in known space. I hear most of it was wiped out in the first engagement. Spectacular result. Spectacular. All the sacrifices we made over our lifetimes for nothing. What should we do now? Have you hope? I cannot undo the past, but I can offer you a way forward. Join us. Your offer certainly has the advantage of being the only one that we have. We will join you. Well, there you go. Relations with the Empire are up. We can only hold one more ship, unfortunately. I think this little dude over here is going to get whacked before we can get over there. Yeah, because I think we're going to have to go... Well, we might make it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see when the Harvesters get here. If the Harvesters get here, there they are. We might have this, though. I think this is an abandoned missile boat right here. We might be able to crew this, I think. You, get over here. Get over here. Crew that. Oh, you're halfway across the galaxy right now. Weak, dude. The abandoned warship has taken a good amount of damage, but the main systems are functioning, and she's still got armor. Okay. Is that my guy right there? Yeah, crew that, crew that. Go for it, quickly. We need that battleship. We need it right now. Your Laurel and Parrot crew make their way aboard the ship and indicate their readiness to jump. Good. So that's been abandoned, but now... We have the Hot Spur, which is a missile boat, so we can actually fight now. Good news. So we have two missiles and one laser that we can defend ourselves with. It's not going to do much against the Harvesters, but it will help us with little events and things that we're coming across. Basically what we want to do is we want to trade all of these ships into warships if we can. That's what we're going for, is we want to take all this stuff and we want to convert it, basically. Uh, let's go ahead and make the jump to Irenic. You better plot that faster, boo-boo. You better plot that faster. They're coming. Do it. Punch it. Get us out of here. And so ideally what we want to do is we want to trade all of these ships for their war for their warship counterpart. So we're getting dangerously low on water supplies. If we rescue one more ship's crew, we're going to be at our maximum output. All right. We have any abandoned ships around here? So we have the Irenic Peace Liner. We have two more over here. Both of these in a Rennick farm ship. That'll increase our capacity for our fleets if we can convince them to join us. And then the Havoc appears to be a repair ship. So that will... Okay. So if we got them, that would also fix our warship, which only has one HP left. I think we should probably talk to these guys first. Let's go ahead and hail them real fast. Hail who you can for now. Do I have anybody nearby over here with the hot spirit? Yeah, go hail them as well. We basically need to fan out throughout these systems and engage in as many events as we possibly can. The Arenic cargo vessel looks small and alone. They reply, Ah, yes, the mighty packed warship. As you must well know, we Arenic abhor violence. It is difficult for me to say this, but we have no other choice. We have no shields and are separated from our kind, so we beg your aid and protection. 
I don't know where they want to go, unfortunately. Not a whole lot I can do for now. Well, what are you going to do? Apparently, they're going to jump out. Hopefully, this guy doesn't attack me. Luckily, the Arenic are pacifists, so I don't think that he will. But either way, I want this repair ship as part of my fleet. That way, I can fix my missile boat. Sorry, busy for non-friends. What about you? Your people have proven themselves untrustworthy. Forgive us, but we choose to ignore you. If you truly seek a path of enlightenment, seek a dialogue with our peace traders. All right. I do wish there was a way to, like, board and steal other people's ships. Because I need that ship right there. That's one of those things that if we add that to our fleet, it'll fix a lot of problems. It'll allow us to trade our ore into repairs. Which is a bigger deal than it sounds like. We've got another Renic system over here so we can plot that. But yeah, we're out of time for the day. This game is called XO. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a very, very unique game. I do think that it struggles a little bit with a pacing that might be a tad too fast with how the harvesters chase you. I don't feel like it often gives you enough time to talk to people in the systems that you're in before the harvesters are already on top of you. I think it could be slowed down slightly. That's my only real observation about the game so far is that it's kind of highly luck-based. It's just what events you get and what ships you get. And that can make it interesting and fun, too. But I do think that the pacing of the game could be slowed down slightly. Other than that, all the other systems seem to work pretty well. The game is enjoyable. This is not a combat-heavy game, at least not until, like, the back half of your average run. Uh, your average run in this game is usually about a 90 minutes to 2 hours long, I guess, from beginning to end, assuming that you go from the starting system to the ending system. And it's meant to be replayed numerous times, and that's why the whole thing is randomized, and you're never quite sure what's going to happen next. So anyways, check the game on out down below. It's called XO. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie gaming so that you don't have to. This is the premier place on the internet to be if you're interested in just the indie genre, the indie community, the indie melange. Other than that, I will see you all later. Thank you for being here. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I'll have something hot and fresh for you after the skillet tomorrow.